Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion this morning. I want to share with you some verses from the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, and it's verses 15 and 16. Do not lurk like a thief near the house of the righteous. Do not plunder their dwelling place. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again, but the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. There's quite a lot in those couple of verses we could pull out, but I want to concentrate this morning on, on the line there that says, for though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. It reminded me of when I was a child and I um, learned to, to ride. I loved horse riding. But in the process of learning, boy, did I fall. <laughs> fall numerous times. But I was told you've got to get back up and get straight back on the horse. And then it was a similar thing um, in my early 20s. I, I had a passion for skiing. And again, the number of bruises, I lost count in, in learning to ski. But you see, falling isn't failure. It's not failure as long as you get back up and you stand again. In 1991, there was a lady called Anne Biscay. And she was um, a general manager of the Optima uh, car division of American Express. She had 2,000 employees that she was responsible for. But in 1991, it was discovered that five of her employees had been hiding the fact that they were actually $24 million of loss. You see, Anne's um, intimidating perfectionism had come across as intimidating. Her subordinates hadn't felt able to confide in her that they were having a problem, that this was this, these losses were mounting up. And instead they, they lied and they hid it. Anne had to face the fact that she'd been responsible um, for this. She, she lost her job. But American Express gave her a second chance with a smaller business. Um, and she had to face the fact that she needed to change. She needed to be more approachable, more patient. She need, needed to be able to change the way she dealt um, with receiving bad news. So that the people who were under her felt they could come and confide in her. She learned those lessons and she changed her management style and four years later she um, actually got the post she got she was promoted to be an executive vice president at American Express you see failure wasn't the end failure was just the beginning of the next stage and with the Lord he uses our failures we all fail we all fall down, we make mistakes, we get things wrong, but we bring those to the Lord. We face up to them, we don't try and hide them from him. We're honest with our Lord and we say, Lord, I'm sorry, I've got it wrong. But then he takes those failures and he uses them and they become opportunities to grow and to develop. So I just want to encourage you, the next time you fall, don't think that you've failed, but look to the Lord, admit you've got it wrong, stand and rise again. Bye.